so we're at Boston Pizza now. So as I've told you guys in the last video, Wi-Fi still down. Thanks again, Bell and TS. I'm currently here with Jackson. That's up. How did? We're hoping we beat the Blackhawks, but if we lose, that's gonna fucking suck. Enjoy the video. Get ready to fly. My name is Zachary Nolan. Welcome back. Carter Nolan's actually not behind the camera. We're actually at a different, we're at several locations right now. He's my brother. Because once again, guess what? We have no Wi Fi in the house. Thanks, Bell. The whole neighborhood's blacked out. They're literally trying to dig a giant hole in our neighborhood to try to dig up the thing that they broke. Gotta love it. But anyway, Jax! Win three to one over the Chicago Blackhawks, and as you as you can see in the pre-intro, saw this game with Jets Hub uh, Jackson from Jets Hub. You should definitely check his channel out. By the way, it's links is in the description down below. But yeah, we watched this game. It was fine. It was fine. It was honestly kind of a boring game. It wasn't really that spectacular. Uh, it's a three-one Jets win. Nobody ran up the score. Uh, the chances were okay, but you know there was always a little bit of a risk there. Uh, Jets kind of got ahead early, and they stayed ahead. And that's good. That's honestly a safe game like this. On the second night of a back-to-back, -back, I'm happy that the Jets didn't take too many unnecessary risks. And there's only one real uh, mistake here. Also, oh my heavens. Oh my goodness. I'll be right back. I gotta show you something. I gotta show you something. One eternity later. So as you may know, we have a Mike Ward here for the worst Jet. But because of proper... <sighs> Etiquette. <sighs> I have a new Mike Award. <laughs> Mike Award for the worst Jack. And this is that, that's real. That's that's authentic. Uh, we'll go to Axel Janssen Fialbi on the turnover and the goal in the second period. But before we get anywhere, before we get anywhere, oh, I just love having this. Carter's probably gonna shorten that where I go running for it. Yes. But anyway. Let's get into this video before we go any further. This video is sponsored. Do you hate when you can't find your preferred sports betting site? Bet 99! Bet 99! Caramba! Caramba! Spreads! This doesn't look like cool bets! Bet way! Bet way! Well, that is a problem no longer. With BetStamp, you have access to all your favorite betting websites all on one platform. Just pick the game and select the best money line to ensure you make the most for every bet you make. To take advantage of this extraordinary opportunity, make sure you download BetStamp from the App Store or use the link in the description below and use referral code NHP to let them know you're coming from us and you're saving money. Now, without further ado, let's get back to the video. Yeah! Check it out for sure, guys. But anyway, going to the first period. Jets controlling a bit early. Finally, and then open in the slot area. Cole Perfetti gets loose. Shot scores. one nothing. Jets. Reaction here. All right, and just like that, Perfetti on the board first. What are our thoughts on that? Big. 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 That's, that's big. That's big. Honestly, it's nice to see Fett score on not an empty net. Great to see Perfetti get on the score sheet again when it's not just empty net goals. Happy to see it. Love to see it. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna. <laughs> oh, I feel like a kid. Is it missing a spot? I definitely did not do that. I want it like uh, I'm forgetting picks right. Isn't that lovely? But anyway, um, my precious, my precious. It's funny because it's a, it's precious, but it's also the Michael Ward. Uh, but anyway. Um, so Jets get up to 1-1, nothing lead. That'll be the end of the first period there. A lot of good chances. Uh, Jack Johnson chooses to be an absolute, uh, toss salad. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. And just go after Mikey Isimont for no reason. Bum-ass player. Bum-ass player. Um, but yeah, no, honestly, other than that, not, not too much to say. Just have a good first period. David Rake is in that. Sorbonne is in net. Both goalies did 
fine. Soderblom did fine. People were saying, oh, Soderblom looks amazing. No, he didn't. He looked fine. He's like two, seven, and two. He's not that big a deal, honestly. Um, but yeah, go to second period early on the power play. Jets will score to make it a two nothing game reaction here. Norsey, absolutely Norsey. How you feel, Jack? Very happy. <laughs> oh, wheels tipped it. Okay, we got a huge Blake Wheeler enthusiast in the house tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Blake Wheeler on the deflection. Josh Morrissey gets a point, so Norsey campaign keeps the keeps it going uh, for a point per game player there by a little bit more than a point per game. Um, and then uh, not long afterwards on the turnover that Axel Janssen feel we can't handle, which is getting him the mic award tonight, um, the uh, Taylor Radish scores to make it 2-1. Reaction here. Who scored that? Taylor Radish. Taylor Radish? Bum. 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 World Junior Standout. Bum. How does this even happen? Is this a bad turnover? Oh, Axel Johnson. He always doesn't know how to play soccer. And he's Swedish, so that's extra and bad. Yeah, honestly, it was... Um... It's tough, but you know, those things happen. And honestly, Dave was okay in that. He really was. He he wasn't that bad. And he had he only gave up one goal, which is the lowest he's ever given up in a regular season game with the Jets. Progress. Granted, it was against Chicago. Shut up about that. Um, but yeah, no. Jets keep pouring it on in the second, but they end up not getting anything. It goes 2-1 going into the third period. Third period again, slow a slow period. Um, me and Jax were kind of just joking, like who's Who's, call, who's pulling up the 1-3-1 one, one game right now because it really felt slow, but that's okay because if it's a slow game, you know what? Not every game needs to show the Jets playing this amazing hockey. Sometimes a boring game does the job, and guess what? A boring game did the job tonight, and this is the first Jet, the first ever four-game win streak for the Winnipeg Jets in the 22-23 uh, campaign, so that's great to see. Hopefully they keep it going, uh, going back home, but, you know, it will be some tough tasks that lay ahead. They're also now... My winning have one game in hand on the Dallas Stars and are up two points on the Dallas Stars in the Central Division lead. So the Central Division runs on jet fuel. We go to the third period. Uh, Jets are putting some good pressure there. And Adam Lowry from Jansen Harkins and Morgan Barron would make it a uh, two-goal game with a goal right here. Reaction here. Woo! Oh, boy, Lowry. That's high. What, what's the mood? What's the mood, this is the worst game I've ever watched. This is so boring. <laughs> but we're having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Also worth noting, Logan Stanley was injured in the first period. Unfortunately, he would not. He would have one shift in the second, but he would be out. Looks bad. He might have re-injured his uh, nagging injury, his ankle injury, which is not a good sign. He went into the boards at a weird angle, and his ankle just looked like it just slid out. Tough, you know? Good on him for to return from the last injury and get a point, but this this could be a a long time period. So we're gonna have to see. But yeah, other than that, Jets keep their control composure. They defend well. Their penalty killing was great. Uh, I liked a lot of things here in this game. T three stars. Uh, third star, Adam Lowry, key goal there. Uh, second star, um, Cole Perfetti gets the goal to open the scoring there. And uh, Josh Morrissey, the honorable mention. And David Riddick will get first star. He only he only gave up a goal tonight. And honestly, this was his bounce back game. This was needed for, for Dave Riddick. I feel like I cannot stress this enough. Dave Riddick needs games like this. Because don't get me wrong. When push comes to shove, Dave Riddick will not... You will not be seeing Dave Riddick in the playoffs. But... You need to see him in the regular season. He needs to be that stable boy that can play the second night of back-to-backs. Because going into the future months, we have a lot of those back-to-backs where he's going to end up playing. He's probably going to get at least 15 games in the season, or t at least 8 to eight to 12. So you need him to show up on some of those nights, and you need him to build confidence, and you need to win some of those nights. So yeah. But yeah, guys, don't forget. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit shorter, but again, we're only run we're running on no Wi-Fi right now, so we're not really sure how this is going to get uploaded. We're hoping we can upload it tonight. Might have to settle for tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and comment down below your thoughts on this game, on these two-game road trip, even, with the uh, St. Louis Blues and the Chicago Blackhawks games. A reminder to check out the St. Louis Blues video that dropped this morning. 
Uh, it's great. It's also me getting really mad at Bill MTS. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Oh, Connor, you'll spend your time for Connor.